That's right. I'm working on this beauty today. Um, actually, this week. This is what what we got going on in here. This is a one JZ out of a JZX100, and um, my buddy Devonte wanted me to go through it, make sure everything was running right. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, I pretty much got to go through all of the car to find any little minor issues, fix those minor issues, and clean it up for him. Make sure it runs really good so then he could start modifying this motor. As you could tell, um, it's very, very well done car. Uh, there's just a bunch of little stuff to go through um, and then he'll be running right. Uh, what, once we get him running right, we're gonna try to get him, I'm gonna try to get him to go bigger turbo, fuel system, E85, all that good stuff. But um, for right now, it's pre pretty much stock 1J. 1J, 240 thing is pretty though so first things first on this car I am gonna be making a bracket for the battery relocation um, I'm gonna be cleaning up some of the wires in the trunk here and getting the battery mounted nice and solid so he has no issues driving just if he decides to get on it the battery's not gonna go denting up um, anything in the trunk or go flying or rip anything out so that's first first goal for this is to get the battery relocation mounting bracket in the car secure but first I gotta make it. So we're gonna make it first. So I just got some um, mild steel and uh, mild steel L angle and a couple pieces of straight mild steel. So I'm gonna weld these things up. All right guys, uh, I got the battery mount. I made up the battery mount today. Um, now I'm just kind of figuring out how I'm gonna mount it in the car. Um, previous owner had made this little trunk lid here. Yeah, previous owner made this trunk lid. I just kind of trying to clean everything up for my homie. I wanna do a real good job for him so he's pretty pleased with how everything looks. So right now this is what we're doing. I kind of just got it in place where I think I want it. And then uh, I gotta drill a hole here for the battery tie down. Um, but I also gotta drill holes through this so it mounts solid to this piece and then run my power line here and then there's a ground here and then also reconnect the sub and all of that good stuff but uh so far so good everything else has turned out great okay this is what we got so far i got the my bracket mounted and in place um i redid his power wire um zip tied the i pretty much just zip tied his power wire for his amp so and then i ran i ran it this way bracketed it down here um, this is actually wood. So new power wire. He has a distribution block back up in here. New uh, battery mount. Um, and now I just gotta, I gotta put in the bottom carpet here and then I gotta cut for the bracket. So uh, literally I'm just gonna cut slits for the bracket and then we can mount the battery in place and this will look nice and finished. All right guys, um, this is what we got. So I got the, the battery tie down. I got all the power distribution really good. Got the sub mounted back in. I didn't really do much with the amp and wiring. Um, just kind of tucked it back, tied it, zip tied it together. But overall it looks a lot better in here. Now his battery's not gonna go flying if he decides to step on the gas just a little bit. Now I just gotta work on uh, under the hood. There's some vacuum stuff going on with this car. Um, it was getting a bit of fuel cut. I don't know if it was fuel cut or if it was breaking up at top, but um, uh, number one, boost was spiking. Um, plumbing wasn't necessarily correct, so we're gonna fix that. So most likely there's some sort of vacuum going on in there. Pretty much just gonna go through this car, just try to get it running as properly as possible before he decides to upgrade any part. And that's that's really it, but uh, this car is super, super clean. I'm super hyped to be working on it right now. So first thing I usually do when I work on anybody's car or myself or whatever is I go through and just kind of clean up any anything that I may be working on just so you know, you're not having any kind of dirt and dust or any kind of grime falling into any ports or anything. So um, yeah, we're gonna clean up the valve cover uh, we got to redo the spark plugs. We're going to do plug wires as well and uh, just check the gaps on everything. It also is getting valve cover gaskets. So all of this is going to get cleaned up and then I got to go through all of the vacuum on the whole engine, make sure everything is plumbed up correctly. And then I think I'm going to be adding a oil catch can. All 
Alright guys, it's day two on this thing. What I did this morning was I, route, I mounted and routed the oil catch can. This is just temporary setup for now, but this is how it's going to run. Um, pretty much oil catch can. I got. I still got to do the valve cover gaskets, but um, they're not here yet, so that's why I figured I'd get that done first. Oil catch can's in place. I got. I'm redoing these fuel lines. I'm redoing these fuel lines. They're just in an unsafe spot. Um, these guys. And just not mounted all the best. Um, I'm also redoing some of this wiring. There was a bunch of, here I'll shine the light in here. There was, if you guys could see the steering shaft down in there, um, there was a lot of wires just hanging on the steering shaft. As you could still see, there's a ground right there, right next to it. Um, just a lot of loose wires um, that I'm just buttoning up and just getting away from that steering shaft. Um, that could cause a lot of problems, as everybody knows. Overall, this, there's not a whole lot on this car that's bad. It's just a lot of little things. When you have a little things is what's going to give you the most heartache. So, um, yeah, redoing the fuel lines, getting everything nice and buttoned away so then he can make upgrades on this car. Once, this, once all this basic stuff is done, it'll make it way more simple to go ahead and upgrade turbos, uh, do pretty much whatever you want to do. So... As of right now, um, we are making a lot of progress. I'm pretty excited. With swaps, and not downing anybody who does swaps, but it is very, very easy to get frustrated with the swap and just wanna give up or just slap it together and get it to run. So my job right now is to get this cleaned up and ready to run and ready to throw more boost at this thing. All right guys, so for today, what I did get done, um, I, I mainly just worked most of the day on this thing um, to really get it going. Oil catch can is installed. All of it's plumbed. I re-plumbed the oil lines. Oil lines. I re-plumbed the fuel lines. So, and then they ran back in there behind the firewall here. Um, I went through the harness back in here, um, tied it all back away because it was really, really close to the steering shaft. Redid all of the vacuums here off of the intake. No boost leaks whatsoever. Um, tomorrow I'm going to go through and clean up everything in here. We're also going to get under the car and clean up the oil pan area. Oh, sad day. So sorry, GTO. All right, guys, uh, taking a break. We're, we're going to be out and about for a minute. What's up, mama? What's up? So, uh, <laughs> you didn't like this car at first? What was that? Wow, don't <laughs> look, look, it's doing that. Look, watch, hold on, guys. Yeah, you just need your blades, woman. What do you think of that 240 in there? So, at first, okay, guys, I'm so blind. Like, I am. Like, literally, like, people would be like, oh, look who's over there. Or be like, people would be like, you didn't say hi to me and I'm like I can't see you like I just I can't I need contact so when um what what's his name Devante Devante came up I seen like a beater I don't know why I saw I, I saw like this trash paint job I don't know what I seen you guys I totally like I don't know if it was the lighting or what but it just didn't look like a nice car and then all of a sudden Trey's like oh you didn't like the car I was like no like it's you like it's used or I don't I don't know what I said like it just looks like they didn't take good care of it and all this stuff and so um I don't know like days pass and then I seen it in the garage and I was like this is this is that car like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know y'all, I'm tripping. She was hating for no I was reason. Like, I was like, She's no. like, oh yeah, that paint is really, really nice. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the? I was like, that's not, that's not the same car I just seen. Like, it was so crazy, like crazy. Yeah, what I think happened is, uh, I don't know what happened. She just kind of probably glanced at it and didn't think twice about it. Yeah, so, yeah. and then when she's seen it for real, she's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's like, really nice. It's really so pretty. it's, the, the wheels are really nice. Like, it is a really nice car. I, I don't, I don't know you guys what I've seen. <laughs> I don't. I was like, what? I was like, he was like, yeah, his paint job's really nice. I was like, that car looked like it to me. I was like, it looked like the paint was peeling. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it, I take it back. The car's really pretty. Very well paint. Very pretty paint job. The wheels look really nice on it. It's a really nice car. So yeah. Yeah, and I, I'm super hyped to be working on it. Um, you know, I'm really hyped that you know my homies gave me that that opportunity gave me that love shout out to Tremaine yes. um, and Devonte for letting me work on his car um, means a lot to me so and 
it allows me to showcase what I could do. So I'm really, really excited about that. Yeah, for sure. And really pretty car, Duvante. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice car. So once the snow is done, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not even going to tell you guys anything. Like we, you know, this kind of put a stop to the dyno stuff for the GTO. So I don't know when that's going to happen. You got a green light, girl. I don't know what you're trying no, that's to do. Okay. I was just trying to <laughs> Yeah, the snow the snow kinda came pretty crazy. Um yeah, on Sunday it was like 70 degrees, 75 degrees. It was really, oh, really nice. Turn it around, show them the trees right there. Yeah. Everything the look at everything outside is it's been cold all day. Um, so I've been I've been trying to get more and more uh automotive work and I've been that's what I've been doing the last what was it, the last two months? Two months, yeah last two months and uh yeah i haven't been working construction for the last two months and i'm pretty psyched on it and uh really really hyped to do this project right now and it's just just cool but my hands are sore um you know doing wire tucks and all that stuff that i've been doing today your hands get all scratched up and beat up so my hands are sore today but um uh, just real real hype on everything that's been going on so next order of business is um I'm trying to get the car ready, the GTO ready for the track time. And um, I kind of been looking into different drag wheels and such, and also some uh, some different rear shocks because that was really what affected me the most is um, the rear suspension last year. Um, as you guys know, I was on the coilovers and the coilovers, great for handling, but my spring rate and the dampeners that I have on the rear weren't doing their job hundred percent the way you need it to for drag racing so for this year what I what I did last year before I, I elaborate last year I went to a King Spring not a King Spring I went to a Swift Spring um, that was a 12k spring rate and um, slightly longer than what the old one was and then now for this year what I like to do is get some Viking shocks maybe I could do that um, next week or so and then um, the rear end suspension wise like the dampener and the spring will be done and then now all I have to do is figure out a new drag wheel um, I would like to do a bias ply slick this year and um, really really see if we can get those times down